Day 17. This house has people in it. Suggested by Nicole Hall and seconded by 12 people. <laughs> Guess we're getting into the weird shit now, huh? I don't know when Adult Swim got weird. Like, when I was growing up, it was just the late block on Cartoon Network where they showed cartoons that babies like me weren't allowed to watch because we were all into Johnny Bravo and the Powerpuff Girls and maybe even then it was super strange and I just like didn't know it because again, I was someone who actually still decades later thinks about the Flan Man from that one episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog and that was, that was more than enough for me. Um, Perhaps it started back in 2009 when they began airing a show called Infomercials. Because if we're being honest, the only times I've ever heard anyone talk about Adult Swim since then is when one of the oddball sketches from that show goes viral. Most famous was the 2014 short Too Many Cooks, which I remember seeing everywhere on my various feeds for several weeks after it premiered. But there's been plenty more oddities to come out of it. Case in point, today's subject. This house has people in it. Which was produced by the same people who made the fairly bonkers unedited footage of a bear. While their previous project's name was a lie, this new one is not. There are indeed people in this house and uh, other things too. Our primary focus is on a regular seeming family. There's mom and dad arguing in the kitchen, grandma watching TV in the living room, young boy getting ready for a birthday party, baby, baby, repairman doing construction in the basement, and a teenage girl who has apparently been face down on the kitchen floor for hours, much to the chagrin, but not, not really concern of those parents. Until she literally starts sinking into it with Fair enough, uh, they care then. Each of the characters is referred to as a subject, and the whole thing is quite unnerving. Security cam footage is typically used to give either an objective view of a space or show how dastardly a group of thieves are when they block the image or switch the feeds or what have you, but here the cameras aren't for security, they're for surveillance. They're an outside entity looking in, probing the space while this group of people goes about their lives seemingly unaware. The cameras are in weird places, seeing strange angles, and before too long we realize that a person has some PTZ controls that they're using to get closer to the action. It's a very different sort of found footage thing, and a uniquely voyeuristic one. And I dig it. But at the same time, it is very clearly not meant to be a self-contained piece. Even before they show an actual link in the credits scene that they want you to follow, there's just so much stuff that hints at this larger universe. Like the program that the grandma's watching of a guy making something out of clay. You, you just know that they filmed the whole thing. And sure enough, it was posted to YouTube by an anonymous account the day that the short aired on Adult Swim. And that is just scratching the surface. There are literally hours of extra content for someone who wants to dig deeper documents, photos, audio, and video files, even a weird little game about a man in a blue cat costume that eats trash. And fortunately for me, someone else did all of the work. YouTuber Nightmind's 100 minute video explaining the whole thing hilariously has 200,000 more views than the thing it's breaking down. I didn't dig into any of this myself, and I'm not here to break down a, a breakdown. So it brings up kind of an interesting question. I have been told to review This house has people in it. So what am I actually reviewing? How do I talk about something that is so much bigger than I even care about? Look, I respect the hell out of alternate reality games. I watched Matt Patton's video about the creation of his, and it is a truly mind-boggling amount of work that goes into making the content and the puzzles that unlock them. But remember the, the, that part I hated in Secret Little Haven with the terminal? That's like most of the shit you do if you dig into this, and fuck that. I'd rather get punched in the face. So. I have to wait for a video on game theory or conceptually Nightmind, but I kind of hate his voice, so definitely not, in order to understand how the work was meant to be experienced. And that leaves me conflicted. Because on the one hand, this house has people in it. 
is a wild and wacky short film that does some interesting, cool stuff that's worthy of merit, but on the other hand, it's really a wild and wacky teaser for a much larger creative project, and it feels like one. I can appreciate what it's doing, but I don't really want to be a part of it. 7.4 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you particularly to my patrons, my mom, Hammer and Marco, Kat Sarakata, Benjamin Schiff, Anthony Cole, Elliot Fowler, Greg Lucina, Kojo, Phil Bates, Willow, I Am The Sword, Riley Zimmerman, Claire Bear, Taylor Lynn Deese, and the folks who'd rather be read than said. If you like this video, that's great. If not, oh well. If you want to see more, you can uh, suggest what I should do next in the comment, or did in three days. You get it. You've been, we've been doing this for a while. I'm so tired.